we got called back in to do Battle of Gods. And at that point I said, oh my gosh, I get to be in one of the movies. Dream come true, I get to talk to Goku and Vegeta. This is amazing, I called my brother. He said, that's awesome, do you get to fight Goku or Vegeta? I'm like, the voice of Pan from Dragon Ball GT. And I'm with my friend Ian Sinclair. Yes, I am the voice of Whis in Dragon Ball Super. And, and people from other stuff. And lots of people from lots of other stuff. And this is the show where I bring you interviews from recording studios and from conventions. And that's where we are right now. We're at Akon. Let's talk first okay. about voice acting, why don't we? Since sure. Since we're, we're here at Akon. What you want to know? a voice actor. Well, you've done so many characters. Talk about some of those characters. Okay. Which uh, one do you want to talk about? Let's talk about Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Super. Or Dragon Ball in general. So I was a big Dragon Ball fan growing up. And Were you? Uh, yeah. Oh, even before you became oh, yeah. a voice actor. Yeah. Wow, no, that's Chris, so cool. they, they all make fun of me for it. Uh huh. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> do they make fun of you? They do. They've been the kid of the cast for, for a long time, Aww. and now it's like five years in. And now we're starting to get, we got like Cliff Chape, and now they're younger people who also watched it that are in the cast. It's, it's lightened the, uh, my load on that. Uh, but no, yeah, they picked on me for a long time. Be like, oh, Ian, Ian, Ian loved Dragon Ball. And I did, because it's awesome. How did you feel when you booked a role on Dragon Ball after you had been a fan? Well, OK, so um, the process actually went, there was, uh, it was Xenoverse 2. I got cast in that, and Jason Douglas and I were cast as Barrison Weiss in that. And the company that cast that is different from the company that cast the show. So we, I, I thought I was just going to be in the games. Uh, we didn't know anything about it. We just knew that something about pudding and, you know, kind of loose sketches on who our characters were. And then we got called back in to do Battle of Gods. And at that point I said, oh my gosh, I get to be in one of the movies. Dream come true. I get to talk to Goku and Vegeta. This is amazing. I called my brother. He said, that's awesome. Do you get to fight Goku or Vegeta? I'm like, no, but I'm stronger than them. And that's awesome. So that's, yeah. He's like, oh, cool. Well, call me when you fight them. And so I thought that was going to be it. I thought it was just going to be in the movie. It wasn't even going to be canon. I didn't get to be part of it. But, you know, at least I got to be in a Dragon Ball thing. And I was so happy about that. Because uh, up till that point, I got to be Namekians in the background of Kai. Oh, once yes. and like freaked out about that. <laughs> so we just thought that was gonna be it. We're gonna do this one shot movie and then Resurrection F came and they called us back. It was so cool and then I was able to call my brother and say I fought both Goku and Vegeta at the same time. Nice. And how much stronger I was and that was great. And he got mad at me because I spoiled it for him. Oh. <laughs> so uh, then we thought that was gonna be it. It was just gonna be those two movies and the series started. We thought, oh, we're not going to be in that. And then we thought maybe we're just going to be in the recap of Through Resurrection F, but we get to be in the whole thing. And so deeply, deeply honored, still not fully accepting it as reality. Uh, the last five years have been a weird blur, accepting it kind of, and doing neat Dragon Ball panels, each time being the kid over on the side, just going, like, I get to do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so neat. cool. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm. It's Dragon Ball. <laughs> it's it's awesome. I yes, know. it's the best fighting anime ever. But it's not just Dragon Ball stuff that you've done. You've done other characters. Tell us a few others that you've done. Yeah. Oh, I've been working there as my as my one of my main jobs since I, I, I left college. Mm -hmm. So in 15 years, I've done uh, I've done a few. Uh, Space Dandy is definitely one of my mm -hmm. favorites. Um, I was a huge Cowboy Bebop fan, so being able to do something uh, by that crew is it's a dream come true. Uh, we, I've never worked on a project where it was that funny, but nobody was having fun because we were all so serious about it being like the best dub it could possibly be. Oh, really? So we would do something funny and then sit back and for the next five minutes break down how it wasn't funny enough and then like figure out the right read. But then. And some director's like, no, it's really good. And he goes, no, it can be better. There's something. You see how his eyebrows doing this thing? We can make that funnier. We can make that funnier. Uh, so and, serious about being funny. I love that. And it paid off. During it, I remember people in the crew, there was a saying we had, there will never be a day where I will regret working this hard on it. Oh. You know, like putting good. everything in it. It's never like I'm going to go back and go like, I wish I phoned that in. Like, we're, we went hard. And I'm super proud. Oh, go big or go home, right? Have to. Have yeah. To. So besides voice acting, you like video games? Is there? <laughs> I love it.
love it when people research me. I did. That's I Googled him. I do that. Uh, I know. See, Dad, I'm Googleable. Googleable. Uh, Whatever go that. Googleable. Is that a word? I guess. We'll have to Google that word and see if Googleable is a word. I feel, I feel like it is. <laughs> I'm a millennial. I get to decide that, right? So I no, that's Google. old now, right? It's Millennial's not millenni like. Uh, that's like. Oh. I mean, I'm 35. That's it's millennial. Yeah, yeah, isn't that fun? But yeah, I did. It's funny. I, I know Ian. I've known you for mm -hmm. a while. Yep. But before I do interviews, I still Google. Because maybe nice there's something I don't know about you, which I, I didn't know you were very into video games. So see, I learned something. I, I am as into video games as I feel any man my age. I like video... <laughs> Like Zelda was my like first babysitter. Like I'm pretty sure my parents were like, "Oh, this is a good way to get an ADD kid to be quiet for hours on end." <laughs> Put me in front of the original Zelda. Um, I uh, the older I get, the less time I have to play games. Like I'm getting weird and I'm into backpacking now. Oh, backpacking! Yeah, like ultralight backpacking. It's okay. nerdy. You you, I you shave ounces and then you go out into the woods and you like. Walk. I don't know. It's great. That's very cool. Okay. It's less cool when you like. I played a lot of Far Cry and uh -huh. like Red Dead and like. First time I went backpacking, I'm like, it's kind of like running around in Far Cry, but in real life. <laughs> don't you judge me. I know that judgment. <laughs> it's it's real. It's awesome. Makes kind of want to go hunting a little. Yeah, yeah. You get it. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I've got somebody on the side laughing. Funny. You all get so it too. Anyway. Maybe there's something that I didn't find out mm. when I Googled you. Oh, that's new. That's what? the last six months. Oh, with that. So I wouldn't have found that. Is no. there something else I might not have found? Foodie. When I... Oh, you're a foodie. I'm a huge oh. into food. See, I did find that. Yeah? Yeah. That you like barbecue. Is there any other food you like? Oh, oh yeah, no, but I'm, okay, I love to barbecue. Oh, you love to like, barbecue. Uh, barbecuing is. is a beautiful zen thing and at the end you end up with like 10 pounds of meat that you get to eat and then like <laughs> give to your friends all the excess and be like oh, oh I'm just being generous but it's kind of like you're bragging <laughs> look how good I am at smoking meat it's easy so awesome. um, yeah. but no I'm, I'm wearing a ramen shirt I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Japanese food like I know it's probably because of the the job. Mm -hmm. you, you go in, and you see some katsudon and some ramen in an episode. You, you start craving it pretty hardcore. Uh, yeah, no, when, when I do go out to eat, it's... I've decided this weekend, since we're in Dallas, that I'm not going to mention the name of my favorite place to eat. Because it is my private holy place. Oh, okay. And I will be there You're in like my dorkiest shirts and like my Goku hat. Just like shoveling down takoyaki. And I, I learned at my first ramen place that I kept telling everybody, you gotta go to. And then I'd show up and see someone being like, hey, and you're like, oh. It's not my place anymore. Now, now you get to see me be gross. Because like, <laughs> I go away when I eat. You, you know you, you know those people who just kind of tune out and mm -hmm. just. You're in another place. Yeah. You and your food. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I get it. So food, food's a big one. Uh, food's a passion. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Backpacking, video games, and voice act that's all there is. There's not much. <laughs> no, I'm one of those nerds who like figures out a thing for a while and obsesses yeah. and then like move. I know how to bake. I'm, I like oh, baking. Okay. That was that was one of the last things I obsessed over. Very cool. Baking's a lot of fun. Made a yeast colony out of the like random bacteria that floating around in my house. Oh that Yeah. That this is an anime fantastic. interview. Yes. This is oh my gosh, I get to say this. Guess what I named my yeast colony? Because the yeast colony is a what? living uh, thing. You have yeah. to feed it and it grows and it feeds you. Okay, Guess I know what nothing I named about it. it, but what did you name what it? What did I name it? Um, Pan. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's we're going to have a moment right here. And it's Look dragon. at that, Pan. And it's a dorky thing. And my, I love it, and I named it Pan, and Pan feeds me once a week. Uh, uh, it's, it's awesome, I make pizza out of it. It's in my fridge. I have a giant mason jar uh, wow. pan. Yeah. That's, that, I kind of don't know what to say about that. I can give you some if you want your own sourdough starter. Um, okay. You ever used a sourdough uh, starter? No. It's really no, easy. I, like, I know nothing. throw in some bread flour with that and a few other ingredients and you got bread. And then boom. 
Yeah, it grows. You feed it all-purpose flour in like warm water every week, and it'll just go and you take that excess. I mix that excess with a little bit of olive oil, salt, sugar, uh, bread flour, a little bit of garlic powder just because, and uh, I make pizza dough out of it, and we make sourdough pizza about every week. That's actually fantastic. Yeah. So we've had a little anime, a little cooking. We've learned so much. That's what I do. Now I have one more oh. like anime go slash for it. acting do related it. question. Did you go to school for acting? Did you know that you wanted to be an actor? I went to TCU. I was a theater major. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, no, I didn't. No. I, I, I liked acting. I acted in high school. It's just something I fell into. I did a project in college in the T Tom Walsh, uh, Dr. Walsh yay, at TCU. He said, you're going to be an actor, right? And I went, oh, I was going to do RTVF. And he goes, you're going to be an actor, right? And I went, okay. And so I'm here. And here you are, years That's later. Literally why I'm here. Had he That's not done awesome. that, none of this would have fallen into place. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I always like to know the background. Yeah. Now, before we go, um, he has so graciously agreed to autograph a poster, so we're going to do a giveaway. And all you have to do is subscribe. You should and subscribe. For kicks, Seriously. Yeah, listen to him. You should. For kicks, you can even leave a comment. Oh, that'd be nice. Say nice things. The internet <laughs> always says nice things, right? Always. 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 I should start checking sections and stuff. <laughs> so, well, hey, this has been so much fun talking. I loved it. I loved it. Thank you for being here, and we will see you later. Peace out.